Welcome to our Trojan Label T3 OPX tech support video on printhead nozzle alignment and color density calibration. The printhead nozzle alignment is important to complete during the initial setup of your printer or after replacing the print engine. This will establish a baseline position of our printhead nozzles and adjust those positions using the die to die overlap feature to optimize print quality on uneven surfaces. The density calibration is used to correct any variances in color from dye to dye in the printhead. This variance can occur from over or under use of a dye relative to the surrounding dyes. Requirements An Epson V600 scanner. This product is available directly from Astronova. You must use this scanner. Other scanner models will not work. For this process, we're using standard, non-glossy, matte, legal size paper. Minimum of an A4 size, which is 8.3 by 11.7 inches, and paper that's between 160 and 300 grams. Setting up the scanner. Once you unpack and open up your new scanner, connect your scanner to the power outlet Slide the gray transport lock on the back of the scanner to the unlock position. Then connect the USB cable to your scanner. Power on the scanner by pressing the gray power button on the right hand side of the scanner. And plug the USB cable from the scanner to the back of the T3 OPX. Print nozzle alignment chart. Place the paper on the feeding side of the table Initialize the height control and set the fan zones 1 through 5 to 0. If you have questions on how to initialize the height control in the T3 OPX, we created another helpful tech support video on that topic. Adjust the edge sensor and calibrate print height to the paper. Please note, if you're using standard paper, which is 160 to 300 grams, the printhead height of one millimeter will typically produce the best results. If you're not using standard paper, you may have to adjust the height manually. Feed the paper by pressing the feed button on the touchscreen. Observe that the paper travels smoothly and doesn't shift position when it passes underneath the T3 OPX printhead. If the paper shifts or gets stuck under the print unit, Adjust the print height by using the plus sign in the media settings and trying again. Go to the media settings and set the top of form offset or TOF offset to 10 millimeters. Hit the save and apply button. Open the diagnostics menu from the T3 OPX tab on the touchscreen. Press print nozzle alignment plot. Press print nozzle alignment chart. Examine the print. The two black horizontal lines should look uniform and not be staggered. Here's an example of a good print versus a bad print. You'll notice on the bad section, the lines are a bit staggered. If the chart does not look like our example, please print your chart again. Please note, staggered prints are likely the result of the printhead height being too low or excessive fan speed on the table, which would create dips in the paper. If you have a good print, like we showed in the video, please go back to the Diagnostics main menu. Press Scan the Nozzle Alignment. Set Die to Die Overlap to 0. Place the printed nozzle alignment chart into the scanner with the horizontal bars facing to the right. Align the printed chart inside the glass scanning area. It's okay if some of the paper sticks out of the glass scanning area, but make sure that the entire printed chart is fully scanned. Press Scan Nozzle Alignment Chart. If successful, then apply the settings. If it fails, examine your print nozzle alignment chart and try again by placing the chart with the horizontal bars facing left. And that's it. You've successfully completed the print head nozzle alignment. Now we'll work on color density calibration. Go to the Diagnostics menu in the T3 OPX tab. Press Print Density Charts. Place the paper on the feeding side of the table. Press Print Density Chart for black color. 
the density chart should look uniform and not be staggered. Repeat the previous steps for CMY on individual pieces of paper. Press Go Back to the Diagnostics main menu. Press Scan Density Charts. Place the printhead density chart on the scanner. Scan the result for each color and, if successful, apply the settings. If it fails, examine the chart and try again. And that's it! You successfully completed the color density calibration. If you have any questions about this process, please contact tech support or visit us online at astronovaproductid.com.